Hello friends, welcome to the Make the Best Choice channel. I'm your host, Dan V. Today we're going to talk about those of you that have Windows computers and your computer, not just you, but your computer. Are you keeping it safe? There's three ways, three things you must do to keep yourself and your computer safe on the internet. Let's begin right away with number one, Windows updates. Are you doing Windows updates? How often do you do them? Once a month? Heaven forbid, six months, one year? Wow, guess what? Microsoft updates Windows typically at minimum once a month. It's called Patch Tuesday. Often they have many updates, all kinds of different updates that are available to keep your computer more secure and all the features and functions operating well. But over the years, Microsoft has increased that. It's not just once a month on Patch Tuesday, but every week there are usually updates at a minimum security updates on Tuesday. So what I do is I check almost every week on a Wednesday to see if there's any updates that Windows has for me on my Windows 10 and Windows 11 computers and future computers, Windows 12, 13 and on. It's always going to be that way. There's always going to be updates that need to be made. So one of the things you must do if you're a Windows computer user is run Windows updates. If you're not doing that very often, I would just encourage you to do it a minimum of two times a month, minimum running Windows updates to see what you have there. It won't affect what you're doing. You can continue to work while Windows is doing its updates. It may ask you to do a reset or a reboot. No worries, it'll come back and continue and check for more updates. When you do Windows updates also, do them at least two to three times. In other words, go back when it says, oh, you're good, Windows is all updated. Oftentimes that's not true. That's right, I can't count how many times I've gone back. Windows has more for me after I thought everything was completely updated and it wasn't. So run Windows update two to three times. If you're not sure how to do that, in the notes below, you will find instructions on how to do updates. It's pretty simple. Once you get the hang of it, not hard at all. All right, the second thing is, run Windows Defender to check for viruses and malware. Guess what? There are bad guys out there looking to hurt me and hurt you, cause us trouble and grief. They're out there. The latest scams have revolved around uh, asking you for money. If you don't pay up via Bitcoin, wow, we're going to lock your computer out. We're going to erase your, all your information. You're going to be in trouble, so you better send money to us and maybe if we feel like it, we might release your computer. You never know what's going to happen. So there's all kinds of, that's called ransomware, by the way, ransomware. They're holding you ransom. They want you to pay money to get use of your computer again. To help avoid that, we, you and me, we must run Windows Defender. Now, Windows Defender is an excellent malware, antivirus, etc., that Windows Microsoft provides for free to us. It's free. Nobody knows. Windows better than Microsoft. So really, Windows Defender is sufficient for almost everybody. You don't need to go out and buy Norton. In fact, Norton actually causes more problems than it solves sometimes. It digs deep into your system to do what it does. And often you try to take it off and it's still there. Same with McAfee, PCmatic, all these others. There's really no need for the average user to have these third-party antivirus programs. You don't need them. Microsoft Defender is sufficient. That's what I say. That's most what most security experts say. So no need to spend that money and deal with another uh, piece of software that could cause you more problems uh, than it's worth. I have a friend who just got out of Norton, gave up Norton, and went to another software company. Uh, and I wish I would have talked to him before he did that and said, hey, man, you can get by on Windows Defender. But it doesn't help you unless you run it. We have to run. I'm saying you, but we. We have to run Windows Defender. So while I'm doing my updates, I go ahead and I run Windows Defender. Now, sometimes I'll do a quick check. Sometimes I'll do a full check. And in the notes below, in the notes below, there's a description of how to do that. Most of the time, you want to go ahead and run a full check. Maybe at least once or twice a month, run a full check. Certainly, if there's any issues with your computer, it's really slow, it's acting strange, then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and run 
Windows Defender, the full scan. And I describe in the notes how to do that. All right, you can read how to do that. It's very simple. Again, you can run Windows Defender. You can continue working and doing your, your projects on your computer while Windows is doing that. It won't affect the scan at all. Finally, for those of us who are Windows users, a lot of Windows, don't, Windows users don't know this, but really when we got the computer, the very first day, we should have set up a separate user account for us, all right? And maintained an admin account, those two things. I talk about this in a different video for folks who are getting, uh, getting a new computer or a new to them computer, refurbished, renewed from Amazon or whatever. Um, if you are a current Windows user and you're running as admin, you're opening yourself up to trouble. You're opening yourself up to attack from the bad guys, which means you, know, you may not even realize you're in admin, admin mode, right? When you got the computer, you turned it on, maybe it did some updates, and then off you go to use the computer. Microsoft or the computer, computer manufacturer rarely tell their customers, hey, by the way, you probably should set yourself up as a user and keep that separate from your admin account. Running that way puts a wall between you and the bad guys because the bad guys know if they can get access to your computer as admin, as the administrator, they can do anything they want to your computer. They can put software on there that impacts you, that turns your computer into a robot or bot as we call it, where it can go out and impact other computers, do what's called DDoS accounts, swarm other um, websites to uh, knock them off. It can monitor your keyboards. Every click you make, it can record those things. So one of the ways to help protect from this attack is you keep admin isolated and separate. You only use the admin mode to help you if you need to load new software or make some changes to the computer that may be required that can only be done at the admin level. Then you have to jump out of the user mode and become the admin of your computer. Guess what? We're all IT people, whether we like it or not, on Windows computers, and to some lesser degree on any computer. Apple doesn't matter. So this is a little more complicated. I have instructions and a link about how to do that in the notes below. If that's not enough, please let me know, and I'll make a special video on how to do this. There is information on the web available. Uh, there's YouTube uh, videos available on how to do it. It's not that complicated. Once you do it, if you can do it again easily, switch back and forth between admin and user mode. If you uh, work for a larger business that has an IT department, you're probably using the company computer in user mode, not admin mode. The IT guys are the ones who are in admin mode, right? They can come in and work on your computer and blah, 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 even sometimes when you don't know it. But uh, so you want to be, you're going to be a user probably at the office and you're not going to have access to being an admin, an administrator. But at home, we need to be both. We need to be the administrator and of course the user as well. And you can add more users, your wife, your kids or whatever if you want to, if you trust them enough to use a computer. But even then, it protects them as well when they're using your computer because don't give them the admin password. You want to keep those separate, two different passwords. It will really help shore up your defense against, against the bad guys out there who are not interested in your best interest. Let's just put it that way. So any questions, please direct them down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. I've spent uh, 45 years, 45 years using personal computers. I can, can't believe it. I can't be that old, but 45 years. And so I've built computers, I've programmed computers, I've repaired computers dealing with software all the time. Recently, I solved a major problem where I had a Windows 11 machine I bought renewed from Amazon and it wouldn't update. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't update, but I solved the problem. I'm gonna make a separate video about that. And I think those of you that are interested in updating from Windows 10 to Windows 11, you're gonna to wanna to watch that video. As soon as it's available, I'll put the link down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Be safe on the internet. Do your Windows updates weekly. Run Windows Defender virus and malware program at least once a month. I recommend twice a month would be even better. If you do it once a week, 
or even more uh, protection is, is coming your way. Thanks so much for watching today. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel as I try to build it and get this information out to others. God bless. Have a great day.